Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating curves and polygons in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, you will learn how to work with polygons and curves in Draw. For this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of LibreOffice Draw. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit this website. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux version 10.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. What are polygons? The term poly means many. A many-sided figure is called a polygon. We will learn how to draw a map as shown in this slide. This map shows the route from the house to the school. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create a similar diagram by yourself. Let us switch to Draw. I have named this file as Root Map and saved it on the desktop. First of all, let us enable the Grid View. To do so, click on View, select Grid and choose Display Grid. Before we begin drawing, let us set the page margins and the page orientation. Place the cursor on the Draw page and right-click for the context menu. Select Page and click Page Setup. The Page Setup dialog box appears. Click on the Format drop-down and select A4. Select Orientation as Portrait. The left, right, top and bottom margins are set to 1. Click OK. Let us set the default font size to 24. From the main menu, select Format and Character. The Character dialog box appears. Click the Font tab and in the Size field, scroll down and select 24. Click OK. This will ensure that the text we type inside the shapes are clearly visible. Now let us begin by drawing the house. Let's insert a square to show the house and type home inside it. Next, let's draw the park to the right of the house. The park is an odd shaped rectangle. The width on the left side is greater than the right side. Let's use a polygon to represent it. To draw a polygon, go to the Drawing Toolbar, click on Curve, and then click on the small black arrow next to the icon. Now, select Polygon Filled. Place the cursor on the Draw page, hold the left mouse button, and drag the cursor down. Release the mouse button. We have drawn a straight line. Drag the mouse to the right, until the shape is that of a right triangle. Click the left mouse button and drag the mouse upward. Now, double-click the left mouse button. You have drawn a polygon. Let's type park inside it. Next to the park, there is a commercial complex. This too is an odd-shaped polygon. Let's draw it. Go to the drawing toolbar. Click on the small black arrow next to the curve icon and click on Polygon Filled. Place the cursor on the draw page, hold the left mouse button and drag it down. Now release the mouse button. You see a straight line. Move the mouse to the left until the shape is that of a triangle. Click the left mouse button and drag the mouse upward. Now, hold down the Shift key and drag the cursor inwards. Double-click the left mouse button. You have drawn yet another polygon. Let us type the text Commercial Complex inside it. Following the previous steps, let's draw a parking lot. From the Drawing Toolbar, let's select Polygon Filled and then place the cursor on the Draw page and draw the polygon. 
Now let us type the text parking lot inside it. Remember, you can draw a polygon with as many sides as you want. Pause this tutorial and try this assignment. Draw 5-sided, 6-sided and 10-sided polygons. A residential complex is right next to the house and is rectangular in shape. From the drawing toolbar, select Rectangle. Then, place the mouse on the draw page and drag to draw a rectangle. We will name it Residential Complex. There is also a playground in this locality. This is in the shape of a really long rectangle. From the drawing toolbar, select Polygon 45 degree field. Place the cursor on the draw page, click and drag the left mouse button down and release it. Click and move the mouse to the right and release it. Now, click and drag the mouse upward to complete the rectangle. Double click the left mouse button. You have drawn yet another polygon. Let us type the text playground inside it. Now let's draw the lake next to the playground. From the drawing toolbar, select free form line filled. In the draw page, press the left mouse button and rotate the mouse in an anti-clockwise direction. Release the left mouse button. We have drawn a lake. Let's type lake inside it. The last building in this area is the school. The school campus is also in the form of a polygon. Let's draw this on our map now. Again from the drawing toolbar, let us select polygon 45 degree filled. Next, let us place the cursor on the draw page and draw the polygon. Finally, let's double click the mouse when the polygon has been completed. Let's type school campus inside it. Let's insert a text box and type the text school main gates inside it. Let's rotate the text box and place it in the correct position. Now, from the main menu, select modify and click rotate. Notice that the handles change to the color red. This implies that we are in the rotate mode. Can you see the small arc with arrows on either side? We use this to rotate the box. Let's place the cursor over the last handle on the top right corner of the text box. The rotation curve appears. Press the left mouse button. Drag the curve in a clockwise direction until it is placed in the correct position. Now, click anywhere on the draw page to exit the rotate mode. Let's also show the side entrance to the school. Like in the previous step, let's draw a text box, enter the text school side entrance inside it. Now let's draw directions using arrows. From the house, we have to turn right. From the drawing toolbar, let's select line ends with arrow. Let's move to the draw page and draw the line. Then walk past the residential complex and take a left. Let's draw another line to show this route. Then next to the playground, take the right, walk down. Then, take a right again to reach the school's main gate. We have drawn our first route. You would have noticed that two types of curves and polygons can be drawn. One is using the Filled option and the other is without a fill. When you use the Filled option, the curve is filled with color. You would have also noticed that each of the options in the curve toolbar has a different method of mouse operation to draw the curve. 
Here is an assignment for you. Draw curves and polygons using all the options in the curve toolbar. Notice, now the shape of the cursor and the mouse operations changes with each selection of the curve or the polygon. Check if you can change the fill color in the option Filled. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-MHRT, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict-intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Daisy Cruise Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.